Yes, yes, another Uber ride. So this ride is actually different. I'm here in Italy, in Bologna, attending the Italian Society of Endodontists. And I've been invited here by Dr. Filippo Cardinali, a good friend and a great endodontist. But first, let's do this. Dr. Manuel Good morning, everyone. <laughs> what are you doing out here? <laughs> got lost. It's a little bit cliche, but what's the first thing you do when you come to Bologna? It's a food. It's a mortadella. It's a prosciutto. You order a bologna sandwich, which is essentially uh, just sausage. Uh. Mine is some sort of fatty type of pork, greasy. <laughs> St. Peter's Church that was built by Petronio, came from Constantinople. Gregorio the 13th, the guy who developed the Gregorian calendar that everybody uses now, 1582, became the official calendar of the Christian nations. But somehow he didn't account for the leap year. Go figure. Only macro, there is a single room at the top of that tower up there, only one room for two, and a bed and breakfast. That's probably the most romantic room in town. Well, Dr. Alvaro, this has been quite the trip here. Museum of Anatomy, which is an area close to my heart. Palazzo Poggi. So back then, it's amazing, people will know, is there were not enough graphic artists in order to, to create life replicas in wax of the anatomical figures, right? So who was it, the original person? So the original I, was Ercoli. Ercoli Galli. Ercoli Galli was the teacher. Late 1600s, early right. 1700s who thought this Giovanni Manzolini, him and his wife. And his wife, because he died early, so his wife had to take over. And Anna, Morandi. Anna Morandi. She offered the school to be the anatomy instructor and the anatomy professor for the medical students. Mm. And she was one of the first, if she was, she was probably the first lecturer in anatomy in medicine. Mm. And that was a big thing, because for women, women weren't even supposed to be going of... to school at that time. Exactly. That, so that was a big, again, paradigm shift. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and everything you know, was waxed up. Right. All, the, all, the, all the anatomical parts were yeah. waxed up. So beautifully up, done so and preserved. And oh, that was really nice, the history behind that. The whole obstetrics uh, component part of it about childbirth and the stages of child development, things that were not really that clearly known at the time. Museum of Balsamic Vinegar. So after that visiting the city and all the beautiful buildings and the old buildings at many towers, the Congress was so wonderful. They were so gracious as hosts. All the endodontists were so nice. Victor Mele here. I'm French Society Endodontist, giving you a little talk coming up. Good to nice. see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. It's very nice of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, At the Italian Society. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something else, but the, uh, good Dr. Gian Marini here. That's terrific. How have you been? We had a little dinner the night before and got to meet the rest of the speakers, and it was a very nice uh, venue at one of the museums. <laughs> Buongiorno and uh, good morning and welcome to this presentation of endodontic obturation, present and the future. Your presentation was really, was really nice. good. People really appreciated it, the history. It's a great pleasure and quite an honor to be here. He's got to purchase shrinks. 
2 to 7% upon cooling. And yet, it is entirely preventable. Okay, what I wanted to do in this video is to share with you an excerpt from a presentation in which I describe all of the different types of hydraulic condensation that we've described here at Rivaldendo. Now, it's important to understand that these were all described by us at Rivaldendo since BC Sealer, which is the first biceramic sealer, was developed by Rivaldendo and uh, distributed through Brasler USA on 14 years ago. All right, so essentially, you have several different ways you can do your hydraulic condensation, and these involve the original hydraulic condensation that entails the placement of some BC sealer in the canal, pushing it down with a file to the apex, and then placing a coated cone to the end of the root. Then you have warm hydraulic condensation, which is the placement of the cone in the same way as hydraulic condensation, but if you do need more apical pressure, you can use a plugger and push that cone down and burn it off a few millimeters, you know, four or five millimeters, or halfway down the root before you can backfill with your gutta percha cone. Now, you can also decide to backfill using the biceramic cedar, especially the BC Cedar High Flow, using the thinner minimal waste tips. And what it does is because of its uh, radio opacity being the same as gutta percha, you will be able to backfill with this kind of a monoblock of biceramic that will give you a much better seal. And if it ever requires revision, you're able to get through the straight portion of the canal with an ultrasonic until you reach the gutta percha and then you can retreat, so that is definitely doable. Now, the other version of this would be to use a hydraulic post base, which I've described back in 2008, which is only possible with the biceramics, in which you take a segment of the uh, gutta percha, which would be equivalent to the depth that you want to fill the apical portion of the tooth of the root without the post, and then you will cement your post on top of that. Instead of making a post base, you're essentially using this particular technique of uh, segmenting the gutta percha and putting the apical plug first and then using basically or making the post space at the time of your operation. Now hydraulic apical plug is another one in which for cases where you have wide open apices you may want to create a apical plug. Now this originally was done with MTA with a one step barrier technique but the hydraulic apical plug is its equivalent using the BC putty which entails the custom fitting of a cone and then removing three millimeters or so from the tip of that and then using a BC putty to push down to the apex and then cementing putting the sealer in there and suspending the remaining custom-made gutta percha cone that you've made for this canal so that you can fill the top of it. Alternatively, you can do a full hydraulic fill and this is one that is only done in cases in which there is no way you're ever planning on revising this tooth because it would really render the tooth non-revisable. The idea here is that you do the same thing as you do in a hydraulic apical plug and then you may want to backfill the same way you did with hydraulic backfill with the BC sealer and essentially you end up with an all-filled by ceramic canal which would be non-retreatable in this particular case but it will give you the most fracture resistance and probably the best seal but it is very technique sensitive and difficult to do because of the fact that you could trap voids in there and uh, not so easy so what I want to do is I want to just show you this technique now in these series of blocks that are thermophil blocks that are pressed canals that have an apical fin and a lateral canal and they've been fitted to a size 45 endo sequence BC cone gutta percha and it's a matching constant taper preparation and I'm just going to go through all of these techniques and demonstrate them to you one to one. Now it's the key here is that every time you want to inject directly into the tooth that you have to make sure you bring the sealer right to the tip of the thing before you introduce the uh, dispensing needle into the canal. You go only halfway down the canal it's this way as you inject you know it's coming out immediately and then you quickly back up and you don't push too much sealer down. Now, I like to use like a 25 endo sequence scout file in reverse direction that will nicely coat the canals completely and then come back and I always add a little drop of sealer back into the canal so that I can push ahead of the cone. So when I do my hydraulic condensation, the sealer moves ahead of the cone and fills it. Here, I would use plugger and then uh, just burn off about a half a millimeter above the cone and then push that down with a size 10. Now, in warm hydraulic condensation, you pre-fit a plugger that goes in about four or five millimeter into the canal and then you do the same thing as you did with hydraulic condensation, push the sealer down and then you would place your uh, cone and fill it the same way as regular hydraulic condensation. But now, since you want to get some additional apical pressure, and then you push that and you can see as I'm doing that, we're getting a little bit more of the sealer getting pushed down. And then you would use a plugger to condense that four or five millimeter 
from Corona. Now, you would backfill this either with gutta percha, like a conventional warm vertical condensation, or you can use a hydraulic backfill in which you're using BCC to high flow and you're actually backfilling with that. So that's the way that is done. And now we can use, show you the hydraulic post space in which you prefit an endo sequence fiber post, which is a quartz fiber post, and you measure the depth that it goes to, and then you segment the gutta percha. Here I'm not actually putting the sealer so you can see what happens. We're segmenting the gutta percha. You can either notch the gutta percha, you can cut it off and then push that segment down to the apex using the handle that it has. And you can see how quickly you can make your post space at the time of your obturation. Now, hydraulic apical barrier, require is that you prefit a cone to the apex and then cut off three four millimeter from the apex then you go ahead and place your sealer again in the same exact way pushing it down to the end as, as usual add a little bit more sealer and then come back with the same plug and you can put a little bit of a bc putty at the tip of it so that it acts as a piston if you will and then push that down to the end and now you can then just burn it off the way it is uh, in there. And, but the benefit of this is that now you have a completely uh, putty plug at the apex that is um, going to be a more hydrophilic and a better sealing um, situation. So we do the same thing with a complete hydraulic fill in which you are going to do that and then we do the same thing as we did with the apical segment. But in this particular situation after we put uh, the cone down all the way in, then I will just press and then remove the gutta percha and go back and use the minimal waste tip to inject the sealer in there and backfill in this fashion. So you will get a lot more by ceramic in there. And you can see these are all of the names of the different versions of this technique and uh, so on. Now, Dr. Uh, Alvaro also mentioned to me about a technique that he uses in which he's using warm lateral condensation in which you could do lateral condensation in white canals in this case, but he does also like to use warming up of the spreader while doing that. And that's that obviously all of those different versions will work and uh, so on. So that's, I just wanted to share this with you. And as I've mentioned, these that you see here on the screen have all been described by Sabrival Dendo before as the original source of these particular techniques so please use this video as reference of the first time that uh, we're actually sharing them with you. So with the different manifest different forms of hydraulic condensation what do you think there is a way to use each one of them that I described? It was well described uh, different hydraulic ways of ways applying of the hydraulic yeah. condensation. Yeah. Yeah. So you just have to kind of find the right approach and right way for whichever one you're going to use there's specific like indications for it. Thank you guys so much I apologize for <laughs> Come on, that's great. Go for it. Yeah. I learned a lot from you, from your videos. I watched everything. I appreciate that. Terrific, so we've done this uh, trip has been great. So far is one more day left before heading back home. And I think we're gonna go explore that tomorrow as well. And that's gonna be following up after this. Well, Manny, it was such a pleasure for having you join me in this thing. I think we're going to do more of these trips together. We'll have more fun. Oh, yeah. The real Dendo, I'm Ali Nassi, joined by Dr. Manny Alvaro, and the last extraordinaire from uh, Montreal, Canada. Until next video, let's save some people. Thank you, thank you, baby.